I'm not a fan of the ocean for this exact reason. I'm your host Yusuf, and these are 10 ancient ocean creatures that still surround us to this day. Make sure you subscribe and ring that bell to get notified whenever we upload a new video. Anyways, let's get to swimming. Number 10, Pygmy Right Whale. The Pygmy Right Whale is a mysterious creature that has only been seen a few dozen times at sea, making it one of the rarest whale species in existence today. The scarcity of both live specimens and fossil data has prevented scientists from learning much about the diet, reproduction, and general behavior of these animals. We do know that Pygmy Right Whales are among the tiniest whales that can grow to a maximum length of roughly 21 feet. They are typically thought to be restricted to the chilly waters of the southern hemisphere and live in open ocean. In addition to being small, they have a snout that is arched and frowning. Researchers believe the pygmy right whale split from the baleen whale family between 17 and 25 million years ago as a result of the recent discoveries of fossils of the whale in Japan and Italy. Others continue to debate whether or not the whale is a member of the 23 million year old Seto theories family. Number 9, Frilled Shark. Frilled sharks have been hiding in the shadows for around 80 million years, lurking in the deep ocean's murky depths. These fish have barely changed in that period. The six fluffy gills of frilled sharks gave them their name. Despite being regarded as great white and hammerhead sharks as cousins, their relationship could not be further apart. They resemble a snake more than a shark because of their peculiar traits. Frilled sharks are thought to quickly lunge for their prey, consuming deep water fish and squid half their size whole, with an average of 300 pin sharp teeth and a hinged jaw. Number 8, Coelacanth. The coelacanth, thought to have vanished 65 million years ago, was rediscovered in 1938. The coelacanth is a fish that is distinct from many others and is thought to be a member of a lineage that dates back 360 million years. The coelacanth, which may reach a length of 6 feet or more and has a lifespan of more than 60 years, belongs to the taxonomic group Ostechthes and eats cephalopods and other fish. However, what distinguishes them from other species is their peculiar evolutionary relationship with terrestrial four-legged amphibians. They are propelled by four fleshy fins that extend from their bodies in a manner akin to the alternate movement of four and hind legs. Number 7, Lamprey. In its 360 million years of ocean swimming, the parasitic lamprey fish has survived four significant evolutionary extinctions, albeit it is currently primarily restricted to the Atlantic Ocean and a non-native population in the Great Lakes. They resemble leeches or eels in structure, and lack bones in favor of a cartilaginous skeleton with a single tail fin. They feed on other fish by suckling nutrition from their blood, much like these creatures do. Lampreys don't have jaws, but they do have a big suction-like mouth with teeny horn-shaped teeth, along with a razor-sharp tongue. Despite the teeth's frightening appearance, your main concern should be the tongue. The lamprey's teeth only serve to aid in attachment to its food, since the tongue accomplishes the majority of the labor involved in removing enough scales to access the soft flesh of the fish. But don't be duped by these bloodsuckers. For thousands of years, kings in England valued lampreys as a delicacy. Number 6, Horseshoe Crab. The horseshoe crab, which dates back 450 million years and has survived five major extinction events, is one of evolution's most resilient species. Additionally, they aren't really crabs. In the subphylum Chelicerata, which also includes ticks, spiders, and scorpions, the horseshoe crab is categorized. The prosoma, or front shell, opisthosoma, back shell, and telson, or tail, make up the horseshoe crab's three body sections. The horseshoe crab, despite common misconceptions, Conceptions that they are deadly or can bite you, uses its tail as a rudder and can even turn around on its back if it is flipped over. Additionally, horseshoe crabs have 10 eyes all over their bodies. No thanks. Number 5, Nautilus. The Nautilus was a mollusk that ruled over the ancient oceans 500 million years ago, when the continents were still forming. Only a few of the 10,000 original species still exist today along the Western Pacific and Indian Ocean coasts. The 90 retractable sucker-free tentacles of chambered nautiluses have chemosensors that they utilize to detect the scents of fish, crabs, and lobsters. They grasp the art of buoyancy so well that we look to the nautilus as an inspiration for the submarine. Number 4, Jellyfish. 
Everyone is familiar with the charismatic subphylum known as sea jellies, also known as jellyfish. Sea jellies have been around for at least 500 million years, if not longer, according to fossil evidence. They have soft bodies and are at least 95% water. Therefore, it is exceedingly difficult to detect their fossils, yet it is not impossible if they are preserved in fine silt. Sea jellies have a straightforward structure and are nearly devoid of all the characteristics that set them apart from animals, such as brains, hearts, and blood. They just have a simple neural network that enables them to sense their surroundings. Sea jellies are misunderstood in many ways, but one thing is certain, they're up for another million years. Number 3. Limpets The middle Ordovician contains the fossils of these species, which have been on Earth for about 450 million years. They are limpets of several species and snails with conical and dish-shaped shells. They used to be a typical food source in coastal locations. Although they don't fit the criteria for this categorization, some species have a limpet-like appearance. Although the saltwater species were the first to exist on Earth, these animals can be found in both fresh and saltwater settings. The capacity of limpets to firmly adhere to rocks along seashores is widely recognized. Some limpets have additional means of attaching to rocks in addition to suction, like how some of them employ a mucus that acts like a glue. Number 2. Giant Stingray they are so powerful that you won't believe it until you encounter one. These marine animals are frightening, not only because of their enormous size, but also because they carry a poison spike in their tail that can be lethal. They have been around for a few million years and are located in the Mekong River in Northern Australia. According to reports, they've existed since the Ice Era and possibly much before. You want to remain as far away from one of these as you can if you encounter one in real life. They are notorious, so you don't want them to be the cause of your extinction in the wild. Number 1. Gharial Alligators, caimans, and crocodiles are old creatures that all have the appropriate appearance, but one species of crocodilian, the gharial, sometimes known as the gavial, wins the prize for most ancient looking beauty. Gharials have long, slender, sword-like mouths that are packed with buzzing teeth. At the tip of their snout, males grow a large bulbous nose that gives them a rather amusing appearance. Although gharials have existed for millions of years in various forms, the current gharial is the last member of the lineage still in existence. Unfortunately, with less than 200 breeding gharials surviving the wild in Pakistan, Bangladesh, and India, it too is in danger of going extinct. Nope, nope, this thing looks like a Spider-Man villain. No thank you. Thanks for watching. Those were 10 ancient ocean creatures that still surround us to this day. Leave a like and comment if you think we missed anything, and we hope you have a scary day.